Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you were here today. We are talking about a uh, Mel clip that was released uh, for the upcoming episode this Saturday uh, that we're going to talk about. Uh, so quickly before we get into this clip, uh, this still of Mel is cracking me up because I don't know if you guys remember either as a kid or as adult, Olin Mills taking pictures at Olin Mills and like you weren't really smiling, but like they had you and like your family like looking off into the distance <laughs> that's what this was giving uh and i had to choose this picture of sunny because i was not feeling the get up in that scene girl it that was not doing you any favors with, with the mm -mm. No, no 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 um hopefully if the show comes back and they ask you back you're gonna get your season two glow up and and all of the things that's why i chose this picture and not the picture in the scene so nonetheless let's get into the scene that took place so uh, what we have is we have Mel and Sunny having a powwow. And uh, initially it starts off with Mel in the confessional. Um, this is her confessional outfit on the left-hand side of your screen. And they're asking her opinion, her thoughts on the Destiny Moses and Sunny love triangle, if you will. And, uh, you know, Mel's basically like, listen, I'm listening to, you know, the opinions of Tisha and Kimmy. Uh, however, you know, there's, it, there's, you know, fault to go around with everybody. Everyone's here at fault, right? Uh, nobody's innocent in the situation, right? And so nonetheless, uh, you know, then it uh, cuts over to Mel talking to Sonny. And basically saying, you know, I wonder if Kimmy and Tisha are triggered because they have never been able to actually identify, um, you know, a woman or a face with possibly what their husbands may be doing outside or on the side, right? And uh, then when they see somebody like Sunny in their face and they're feeling as though, you know, you're going to be the representation of somebody who could take their man, and um, it's giving a little bit of triggered. And so Sunny thought, you know, Sunny responds and she's like, well, if anybody's gonna be triggered, it should be you. And, and so Mel's like, well, funny you should mention that because she says for her, it's the hypocrisy of it all, right? Because, you know, they have such strong opinions on this situation. And however, this situation compared to mine is different because in this instance, Moses wasn't married to anybody. Moses didn't have any kids with anybody. He wasn't in a 14 year relationship with anybody. Uh, the, you know, so, and it, they weren't engaged. There was no future plans. This was an entanglement at best. And so nonetheless, uh, you know, also in regards to Mel's situation, she said she has heard personally Kimmy say that uh, she refused to call Martell's 10 year side chick a side chick, you guys. And, and, and that's just, you know, that's just the, the tip of the iceberg. That's the icing. Uh, that's the cherry on top, if you will. But this is the same Kimmy who contis consistently has called Martel a good man, you guys. But um, here's my thing on all of this, right? I've told you guys from the start that I'm team nobody. Um, I'm not team, you know, Moses, because Moses is doing Moses. Uh, Sunny, there seems to be an issue with the timeline and in all the things, but I will say she's taking the more mature approach out of everybody in this situation involved. I will say that. Uh, it's not this petty betty nonsense uh, that's taking place or, or doing 50 interviews with people, uh, trying to get a reaction, and then when you finally get a reaction, you call the producers, allegedly, and threaten not to expose the real reason you and your ex-husband, LeBaric, got a divorce. Like, but, but you had no problem feeling the flames and saying all these things and all these interviews when Sonny wasn't even talking about you. So that's um, another point of it, right? And then as far as Destiny goes, if Moses, what is what he's saying is true, that him and uh, Destiny had been friends all these years and she knowingly went into an entanglement situation while he either had another wife or, or committed girlfriend, whatever, 
uh, and had no problem being flewed out on the weekends and put up at a hotel in St. Louis or wherever uh, to have booty calls, basically. Well, when he was done uh, throughout the day with his uh, committed whomever he was with, uh, and then hooking up with Destiny on the side, and he even said that Destiny said that she knew his situation, she knew that he had a girl, and she was down with whatever the arrangement was going to be. So how can you be upset when it happens back to you? When, when karma comes back and it happens right to you, you went into the situation where, you know, Moses was unavailable. And now all of a sudden, you know, uh, Sonny, it, it, you feel like the same thing is happening to you with Sonny, except for, uh, the difference is, uh, Moses and Sonny actually got married, right? They actually got married. They actually tied the knot. You guys can, be, can have talked about kids and all these other things or whatever else, but you never got, you never got married, right? But then you wanted to show him pictures of you and Liberic, uh, as if to get like a reaction out of him, as if he was supposed to be jealous or something, right? If he was supposed to feel a certain type of way or, or see if he wanted to still pursue things, like it, it just was unnecessary, right? But nonetheless, nobody is innocent. Uh, so that's why I don't understand why people are team anyone, because because nobody is innocent in this. And then with that being said, you know, Mel is listen is saying, listen, you know, we, we've had this side chick of 10 years where the same women did not defend me in any capacity, threatened in the earlier seasons to expose her picture, expose her name to the public, have followed her on Instagram and TikTok, have left her comments in her chats and, and bigged her up, have, you know, filmed with her and Mel's kids at the Cheesecake Factory, has hung out with her and plotted with her to try to come on this show and attack Mel. These are the same cast members. But when that same side chick goes on Tasha K gives an interview that their husbands are cheating with Martel with various linebackers in Atlanta and wherever else they can get an Airbnb and that they have a boom boom apartment room uh, somewhere in Huntsville that they all alternate and bring their side chicks to. Everyone was on mute. Everyone did the mute challenge, you guys. And it was Kimmy that was like, well, if any of this happened, you know, with any of the linebackers, it would have been before we got married. Spoken like somebody who knows exactly what their position is, you guys. Make it make sense. But of course, Kimmy is not going to call anybody a side chick when the rumors are she was a side chick herself and was trying to get at an alleged married Maurice to Kiowa, right? That's what the alleged T is, right? And that's why Kimmy was so mad because, you know, Maurice's first wife came on the scene. She came in hot like, listen. We were still trying to work on our marriage, right? And that's what every separated man does, right? Every separated man is like, listen, let me let me test the waters out here and, and see who is going to bite. If I tell them there's issues in my marriage, if I tell them I'm sleeping on the couch, if I tell them I have an apartment and, and I show receipts, but I'm still on the low, low, uh, you know, hooking up with my wife and, and having sex with my wife and all these things, you know, but they're not going to know those details, right? Uh, and then when it all comes ahead, oh, then it's like, oh, no, 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 she's lying. She's just saying that to, to mess things up and blah, 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 blah. This is the same thing that happened in the marriage of Dwayne Wade and his ex-wife with Gabrielle Union. It was the same scenario. The rumors came out about Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union hooking up. And at the time, things were supposed to still be working out with Dwayne Wade and his ex-wife and all the things. And the next thing you know, it's blasted to the public, this brand new relationship, you guys. While he's still very much married to his wife, that she was under the impression they were going to try to work out whatever their issues were, right? And, and, and then karma came, you know, crashing down because then Dwayne Wade himself had a baby on Gabby, right? So it's like all of these people that want to glorify, you know, the side chick and cheating and all these things, and then they have a rude awakening that comes down. Then something hits them extra hard 
for all of, you know, their tomfoolery of engaging with somebody who was unavailable and you don't know how or when it's going to hit you, but it hit you, Kimmy. So nonetheless, uh, you know, it is interesting because we have not seen uh, any alleged picture. We've heard rumors of various people. We've heard rumors of a hairstylist. We've heard rumors of a makeup artist. We've heard rumors of a former coworker. We've heard rumors of a snowflake. We have heard rumors of all types of people, you guys, but none of those people will confirm that they are in fact an alleged side chick of Maurice and or Marceau because they don't want the same type of treatment that Martel side chick gets. And they have something to lose, which is more than likely they're married too. So therefore, they don't want their business out in these streets. But Martel decided to mess with the boss down, who had nothing to lose, and therefore had no problems airing everything out and being gutter, right? But the issue that I have is there is, you know no issues with uh you know kimmy and tisha defending martel going to bat for martel and all of these things right knowing all this time how martel was doing mel and saying absolutely nothing but now all of a sudden want to take this moral high ground and be team wife and all these things and uh, you know are trying to hold Sonny to some type of standard that you did not hold Martel's 10 year side chick to. And, and I just need to make it make sense. And even Kimmy, you aren't even a person who likes Destiny to begin with. You can't stand her. But, but I guess to be on, on the Tisha side of things, right? To be cool with Tisha so Tisha doesn't uh, stick her mom on you again. You, you, you're you now all of a sudden, oh, oh, this is wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep the same energy when you're going out to eat and discussing with Sonny and Moses them moving to Huntsville, right? But, but see, the problem is you're trying to pretend to be neutral to it all, right? You're pretending that you're trying to be cool with everyone when knowing you don't like these people, period. And, and so nonetheless, it, it comes off as fake. It comes off as phony. Because you're now all of a sudden, you're, you're taking the side of the person that's in front of you. <laughs> Right. But but ultimately, as long as somebody is a wife at the end of the day, that's what's important to you, no matter how they became the wife. Right. As long as they have the title, as long as they have the legal marriage license, that is what is important to you. But look at all of the chaos that has ensued. And you guys continue to stick up for Martel anytime there was an issue, whether it was the custody battle, whether it was Martel's arrest, immediately you went in on the defense for Martel without having all of the facts. And even when you guys did have the facts, you still were pro Martel. And the only reason now that you're distancing yourself from Martel is because of the backlash and because he got convicted for the revenge pee in the third degree harassment. Otherwise, you'd still have your capes on. And some of you did even have your capes on. Uh, even when and after Martel got arrested, looking at you, Marceau, when you gave that statement to the news station, right? But now all of a sudden in a recent interview and at, at allegedly at uh, Mimosas with Mel, now all of a sudden your face turns up at the mention of Martel. No, 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 no. See, it was fine. You guys were all fine with Martel until it came back on y'all. Right. But we but we've been calling this out for for quite some time. Right. But but now you don't want to be associated with the revenge P. Right. And, and whether or not you knew the details of that or whether or not you could be subpoenaed for that. Right. So so you so now you want to distance yourself now that legal impl implications can happen. Right. But as long as nothing legal is implicated, you don't care what Mardell does. You don't care how he talks to his ex-wife or how he treats his ex-wife. Right. And even with all of this going around, still, your family that is not on the show, nobody will check them. Still to this day, you're running their mouths about Mel, you guys. Why? Knowing all this stuff that Mel has gone through and these people still want to fix their mouth and drag Mel, but all of a sudden, they have an issue, you know, with Sonny. 
They they have a problem with Sonny and what Sonny and uh, Moses did, but they have no problem as it pertains to, you know, basically uh, what happened with Martel and Mel. That was okay because they felt a certain way about Mel. They secretly were happy this was happening to Mel and, and therefore, you know, they couldn't defend her. And they couldn't bring themselves to call Martel a side chick a side chick, even though she has not elevated her position, even, you know, well after this divorce. Martel's, you know, out on a business arrangement with Sheree and being spotted with every single woman in Huntsville, in Atlanta, not named his side chick, you guys. And, and so every once in a while, he'll, he'll kick her some, you know, some ends and, and take her out to eat, you know, just to keep her from taking him to court for child support, just to do just the bare minimum. And then get back out in these streets trying to find his next Melody Sheree Rogers, who's a go-getter, who has money, and has something to bring to the table besides SEX. So there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.